winter time when we eel on the ice and it was a a social thing mostly the men and the younger men and boys would go and there'd be some women that went out so i like uh, you know other people coming with you your brothers your friends that's what i grew up with you know when i was six years old that's when i first started ice fishing years ago 20 30 years ago you could cut one hole and you could haul two dozen eels out of that one little spot under there there was that plenty for sometimes you got to make 10 15 holes about three feet, four feet. You're trying to find the eels because you're out on a big estuary, so you cut a hole, trying to guess where they're at. And you start jabbing, you know, you know the texture off the bottom might be too hard, too soft, no eel grass, and you're not hitting any. So you'll move, find another spot, and all of a sudden you start hitting them. You're jabbing in the, bite, in the mud, it's a blind fisher, you can't see them. You're spearing and the object is, is to spear every little spot you can under that hole in the ice. But they're careful in that they adjust how deep their thrust is. I guess the larger ones are buried deeper, so if they want a bigger one, then they would go, go deeper. So you start directly under the hole, and then you slant your spear a little bit, and you spear out, and you walk around the hole as you're doing it. And then you take about a step back about that much, and angle your spear again, and you make another circle, and another step back, increase the angle, and then you're reaching further out in the hole and you're going around and around and until you've pretty well exhausted all that area under there. If they, they harm an eel, they will keep it because the, they consider it wasteful if to, if to put it back harmed and it might die or something else might eat it. So uh, if it is harmed, they will keep it. If you're young, your job is to haul the gear out there and uh, cut holes in the ice and uh, watch them spear eels. If you're lucky enough, they'll, you know, they get tired to let you spear and hole that they're using and uh, hopefully you catch an eel. So you got to be extremely careful. The ice is a little thicker than this table. So about inch and a half, two inches. You really got to learn how to walk on that ice. And not too many people can do that. You strive to get your own pole and your own spearhead and your own axe and just kind of say, okay, I can eel, I can, you know, cut a hole, I learned how to cut a hole and I kind of know what kind of bottom to look for, where everybody went and I can start looking for eels myself. Because you feel better about yourself, you know, you feel more proud about yourself. Get your hands dirty, make the spear yourself, go in the woods, get it, holy smokes, that's what needs to be done. Mm -hmm.